do, do, do you th see this changing in the future? And if so, what are the driving forces that would change this? Um, I do see some uh, changes, um, but still more in the... I, I now I see uh, the young, uh, young generation, 20, 25 something, um, 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 office workers, white collars, um, they um, start to, um, for example, they, in, in the last few years, they start to be um, uh, less um, concerned about the bling effect. So they're more, um, they're more um, low key now, and they actually um, they go out and seek um, um, the experience, the, the lifestyle. So um, uh, many of them, the um, sales associates in uh, fashion retail, um, they are less judgmental on their customers. Uh, now I, I think that's a good uh, good trend. If we if if we look at all these these these, these new generation twenty to twenty five, mm. how would you describe the competitiveness in the market and the the hunt for talent? Is that is that an increasing element that companies have to will have more difficulties in the future finding good stuff as the competition for the good stuff increases? Um, I would say um, compared with before, it's definitely it's um, it's less difficult um, because um, the young generation are uh, getting uh, more and more sophisticated in terms of uh, a taste, the style. Um, um, so um, I'm, I'm, I, I believe it's, um, um, it's easier now. Um, it's, uh, you get a larger pool of uh, um, qualified people for uh, retail. But on the other hand, um, the brands are coming. Um, new brands are coming. And the, old, um, the, brand, the existing brands are expanding. Um, retail space and they, they, with more uh, shops, so the demand is also high. So um, you will still see a, um, a gap between supply and demand for the right candidates of uh, um, any, any position in um, high-end fashion retail, especially say in the, uh, as um, store manager positions or senior experienced uh, salespeople in the, in the um, um, uh, luxury retail. If, if we're looking at recruitment for these people, what should be cre key criteria for recruitment? I would say um, you, um, um, it's always a um, um, debate um, on uh, credentials, um, um, experience over um, aptitude. Um, I would say um, I would hire attitude over experience. As, um, uh, most uh, recruit recruitment managers look, at, look for um, similar experience in have you worked in other brands and in, in, in to the um, similar level um, but I would um, look for um, the attitude if this person doesn't uh, has, has not worked in similar industry but he has the, the um, 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 an attitude to serve people pleasing others um, I would definitely hire him it probably he will need more training on the, um, the specifications of the industry or the products, um, but definitely in the long term it's worthwhile to invest on him or her. I, I absolutely agree with this. Is it difficult to communicate this to the management? And what is the difference in difficulties of communicating this to local management mm. and maybe foreign management? Um, um, I don't see much uh, difference between the local management of the foreign management and the local management of our clients actually got getting more international and the foreign management in China once they operate um, a while in China they are, they know the specifications of Chinese market so they actually their mentality is um, somewhat uh, localized so the gap is not huge what's the, what's the problem with the um, um, uh, the management, the, the HR or the training management of our brand, of our clients is um, because they see a, a high turnover of, of a staff, uh, so they will always um, tend to think that it's not uh, worthwhile to um, spend too much on, on training. But if you don't spend on too much on training, and then the, the sales associate uh, will not get updated in their skill, then they will sell less. So and they will get less um, uh, financial reward or career reward, and then they tend to go even faster out of this brand. So then the turnover is kind of higher, and then 
that will prompt uh, the sales managers or retail managers to think that we, we need less um, training. So it's actually an evil circle. Yeah. Um, what is important is for the um, HR training managers to really have a long-term training plan. Training is not a one-off a one um, uh, um, uh, issue. It, uh, it, it, training is about re uh, repetition, it's uh, consistency. So you really need to have a, a training plan at least uh, like three years on what you need to, um, to address in your training plan. If we're going up the ladder, further up in, in, the, in the middle and upper management areas, there are still a number of expats, expatriates in, in, in China. Do you see the importance of that increase, decrease over time? Um, no, it's um, actually, um, there was a certain time like um, uh, companies are um, hurrying to uh, localize everything. But I see um, while the um, Chinese um, um, uh, customers' uh, um, demands are getting higher, and they're more, they are they're getting sophisticated faster than the salespeople because uh, the affluent Chinese people they uh, travel abroad and um, um, around the globe and they know what they want and also they know um, what's the the, the um, optimal um, uh, um, customer satisfaction they can get and they should get in such um, brands so they have the same expectation when uh, while they are will travel abroad. And they bring the, the um, expectation back here, so their expectation uh, is going very um, 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 high and faster than what they can um, provide on the on the market. Um, so um, I see um, um, lots of um, brands that re rethink their uh, staffing strategy. I see um, they um, start again to hire foreign. Even store managers, and in, in, in one one or two brands, I even see um, Italian um, retail staff on the on the floor, uh, sales associate, foreign face. And it's not just for the face, but um, it's for their, their skills and, and to serve customers, and also um, for for their um, example uh, setting um, um, effect on other um, staff in the store. So would we see maybe even a reverse effect of that and seeing Chinese expatriates in U.S. companies in the U.S. in the future? Um, in the, uh, you mean Chinese retail staff in the U.S.? In the U.S. company. Uh, in the U.S. company, in, but um, working in China? Working in the U.S., basically the US. exactly a mirror. Okay, in retail I don't see that um, um, uh, unless it's um, uh, to serve Chinese tourists uh, in uh, in, in uh, overseas stores, um, but still, um, um, I think that what uh, the local Chinese staff can provide um, in terms of the customer service uh, still has a, a long way to go to uh, meet the Western uh, customer uh, expectations. Maybe another question, not necessarily on the on the floor work stuff. Um, could you comment on the? I believe China is a country with a compensation gap mm -hmm. between workforce and top management mm -hmm. is still larger than in other countries. So mm -hmm. the, the top level is always large, but it's still in general very large. Do you see this becoming more flattened out over the future? And if so, why? Um, definitely, definitely. Um, um, but this can... Um, um, because China right now it still has an um, oversupply of um, uh, laborers. Uh, workforce. Um, um, the, um, the, I think the, the gap, the income gap can only um, start to slim down when um, the workforce, uh, the oversupply of workforce is uh, eased. And when more and more brands are coming in, when finally uh, everyone has, uh, literally everyone has employment and then the one extra brand wants to come in and then he, and this brand needs to squeeze uh, other brands um, um, in terms of uh, staff, and then they need to um, give higher salary to attract um, a, a staff member to resign, and you need to pay extra, and then, then this um, will uh, speed up the increase of um, uh, staff um, salary faster than the managers. But right now, um, in the foreseeable short run, um, I don't see, I don't see the, the 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 gap between the um, 
income of management income step will go um, go down anytime soon. Yeah, may 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 add on this. Do you see the the demand for for work exceeding the supply of work in the near future? Um, the I am aware this, this okay. is a quite sensitive topic. Yes. Uh, demand for work. Yes. Um, so um, will exceed the supply of work. Um, it's or, I think it's already. Um, it's always um, the demand for work. I mean the ap applications for work. No other other way around. Other way around. Yes, the yes, demand yes, yes. for the, the supply for work. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. And, um, not any time soon. But at the, um, uh, on the other hand, so when when you uh, we we say it's, uh, there's always uh, oversupply of um, of uh, workforce uh, in China, but when you look for the exact um, criteria uh, for the for a certain position, uh, it's actually quite hard to find unless you want to lower your your um, criteria to look for the right candidates. And yeah, there is an oversupply of. Uh, of um, um, workforce, but um, um, uh, there are lots of job seekers. But when you look, uh, when you um, scrutinize, um, you very hard to find someone actually um, um, suitable um, for you, for the position that you are hunting for. Last question, which is not really a question, but asking, or maybe you can share a story with us on a very good example of of retail. Workforce management you have in mind, or maybe even a really bad example. Um, I'll give you um, a good example, but unfortunately it's not in China. Uh, a very good, um, even customer service um, um, example. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I was on just a, a month or a month ago. I was on a United Airlines uh, flight from Shanghai to uh, San Francisco. Um, the the cabin crew. And the average of cabin crew is, um, they call it grandma uh, um, airline. Um, they, they definitely, uh, United Airlines has the, the highest average um, age um, among all um, um, uh, airlines. And the average um, uh, age I observed in my flight was probably 50 to 55, the average. Yeah, they really, really um, senior, have lots of experience, and they're, they're so uh, nice to, to, to people. You cannot get. Uh, this from uh, junior uh, staff. Um, I was. Uh, they hand out. Um, they hand out um, a little snack. It's individually packed um, um, pies, um, almond almond pies. So I was actually. I was tasting. It. it was so tasty. And I opened it. I I, I, I I had it, and then I was examining. I was looking at the the package and trying to find who produced this. It was so delicious and. I was so intent on this package, I forgot that the lady was handing um, tea as well, and she just um, she handed tea to me, and I I was like um, taken a surprise, and uh, I was oh I'm sorry I was I was just studying the I, I I talked to the the lady I said I was studying on this um, package to see how uh, where where it was produced it was really delicious so she noticed she she gave me the the tea she said oh yeah you. Uh, um, you love the biscuits, and, and we got good comments on this biscuits from other customers as well. So and I got the tea, and uh, and then ten minutes later, ten minutes because it was it's a very busy uh, flight and um, full uh, occupancy, and uh, ten minutes later, um, she um, she had many runs and serving our others. And ten minutes later, when it's quiet down, and she she called me from behind, she handed two more biscuits. And she said, "I thought you would love to have more." And that's 10, 15 minutes later. She still remember this customer was very interested in this, in this uh, biscuits. Um, that was so good. I, I felt so good. And she really cared about the individual interest, the individual needs of each customer. That was very, very good. Yeah. Going beyond the obvious. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you very it. much, Matthias. Thanks a lot. Yes. Thank you.